What is up, YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com. And in this video, I'm going to go over a tool that I have been using for the last several years to find long tail keywords with low competition. And that tool is called KW Finder. In this video, I'm going to go into detail to help you make a decision if this tool is right for you and your business. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here in Keywords Finder's website. And once you log in, it's um, you're going to come up to this screen where it says thousands of keyword ideas are waiting for you. So you have your keyword, search by keyword, or you can search by domain. I'll go over the domain in a little bit, but for now, we're going to start with keywords. And in this video, I'm actually going to do an actual real example of a keyword that I searched. I created the article, and I'll show you everything I did uh, so you can uh, understand the tool much better. So I was looking for the keyword electric lunchbox and you can do anywhere or you can actually search by states. You know, if somebody does local SEO and they actually want to uh, search like a certain city or state, you can actually do that there as well. But for right now, I'm going to go go ahead and do anywhere and uh, language. We're doing English, but you can also pick different languages. So I'm going to go ahead and hit find keyword. So once you do that, you're you're in this page here. And like I said, you have the electric lunchbox anywhere in the language. So you have um, the keyword and relevant keywords here. You can see that there's the trends. You can have the search volume per month and the CPC, the PPC, that's pay-per-click, and then the keyword difficulty. So the two things that I look for is just the search Oh, well, so the search, the keyword dif difficulty, and also the trend. So right here, you have the keyword difficulty for electric lunchbox, which is 31. And you can see the actual trends monthly search. Um, if you can see it, if the, pro uh, if the search term is actually seasonal, you can see if it goes up and down or if it's steady or if it's, or if it's trending up. You can also click here on trend. It'll give you a little bit more detail. Uh, but these are the related search words related to electric lunchbox. So you can actually start going through them. And this is what I did when I first started with this keyword. And you can search. You can put them in order by search. You can put the highest to lowest or lowest to highest. I normally look at the uh, search. But where I do like to start with is keyword difficulty. And I like to start with, um, with it very low. So if you can see here, not all the keywords have the difficulty. All you have to do, if it's if it's a word, a keyword that you're looking for, you just have to go ahead and click on it. And it'll, it will do a real time uh, search and it'll bring back the information and it'll give you the keyword difficulty. So I went ahead and did, so if you keep going down, I like to get to where we start getting to these words here. So I have right here, electric lunchbox for car. That that word, that search has 680, and it's a difficulty of 18. So if you actually go here and we click on it, it'll update it to that keyword. And you can see the SERP overview. You can actually have who's in position one, two, three, four, down the line. And as you can see here, um, position six, seven, these are, it'll... When it brings this up, it'll give you everything from the domain authority, the page authority. It'll give you the citation flow, the trust flow, how many links are to this actual one, how many Facebook, how many times it's been shared on Facebook. All right. And it actually even has the estimated visitors uh, per month for this actual uh, keyword. So if you go down, you can actually open these up and take a look at them. And, but you can see right here the over overall link profile strength. So these are ones that you can um, you know you can put yourself in these positions here. But it gives you it breaks down everything uh, from the actual ones that are on that keyword. All right. So another way you can do so. I recently um, started here, and the keyword that I found was this one here: electric lunchbox. All right. So as you can see from when I wrote the article, one of my websites, it's already ranking here on the two position. All right. So um, the 
keyword difficulty was still easy, 23. I wrote an article about that one. I went ahead and um, just to show you, I went into incognito window and I searched that keyword, electric lunchbox, best electric lunchbox. Here's an article I wrote. I'm in the two position, 10 best electric lunchbox. Um, if you've seen a few of my other videos, you know that this is my website here, but I just wanted to give you a real time uh, example of how I use this tool and how I've used it over the years to create blog posts that actually rank, um, knowing, knowing that the keyword difficulty is low. And if I create the blog post correctly, then I knew it would rank and put myself in a position. So for this two tool, I was able to create best electric lunchbox uh, or use that keyword in an article. And as you can see right here, um, these were all the other ones that, that I, ran, I, I outrank them. But then there's other words you can use here. So another way to find more keywords is to do, so right now we did related keywords. So the main keyword right here was electric lunchbox. We did related keywords and it shows it all the way down, down. So with my plan, it'll show up to 200. 200 is plenty. All right. So then we can do the auto, uh, auto complete. So it, anything related to electric lunchbox, if I actually click here and it's going to do the auto complete, it's going to go ahead and it's going to fetch the words from Google search. So let's give it a minute, uh, give it a few seconds here. All right, so went ahead and pulled up everything that would have started with uh, uh, electric lunchbox, Amazon. So let's go ahead and do by search. And you can start here, electric lunchbox, price, heater, uh, for office. So like an example right here is electric lunchbox for office. It has a search, monthly search of 740. But I can go ahead and click here and it's going to do a real-time search. And it's going to give me a keyword difficulty of 20, which is really good. If I write another article, um, you can bet that that article will be ranked right in here with these top top eight. Um, so on a side note, I'll go ahead and write that keyword down. I will be using that one. So real time, we were able to find keywords just like that. And then also inside of these articles that you can write, or if you want to write a separate article, you can do questions here. So if you click on questions, It'll fetch keywords, Google search related to questions. So you can do separate articles. These can be informative articles, or you can use these as headings inside of your actual uh, blog post. And right here we have um, how electric lunchbox work. Uh, you, can, you can add that maybe on a bullet point or a, a heading, an H2 within it, um, and you can go down or you can create separate separate articles. All right. So with this tool itself, let me see if there's anything else that I would like to cover here with you. Um, oh, another thing is once you make, you can create, let's just say one day you wanna spend some time, get some keywords, you can um, click the ones that you like, you can add them to a list, you can make your list, you can also export it, export, so like that, anytime you're looking for a new idea to write a blog post, you just go in there um, and you already have your keywords ready to go. And this is, like I said, a great tool. Um, so now you're asking, what's the price? Let's go ahead and go over to pricing. So currently they have plans and pricing. You can do an annual. Um, currently, this is the plan that I have. I pay month, I, excuse me, I pay $29.90 $29 per month but I pay it annually. And with this, you get um, 100 lookups every 24 hours. So it's not like every month, it's every 24 hours. You can search a keyword every 100, every 24 hours. You can do the keyword suggestions up to 200. Um, and then it gives you some of the other information. So they have the basic plan premium, which lets you do 500, a limited, uh, I think for most bloggers, YouTubers, this one right here, the, the basic one will do the job. But if you need an unlimited, you can do that. Uh, they also have one for agencies. If you run an agency, you can do that. But yeah, so monthly is 49. Annually, you can save um, 
basically 35% if you do, if you do uh, annually. And then the other cool thing about this, this um, tool is they not only have the keyword finder, you also get to use uh, their other tools here, which is the SERP checker, SERP watcher, uh, link miner, and site profiler. So an example is you can click right here and let's do, if you were actually Chewy.com, um, which is a big website, but just so you can get an idea, it, it'll give you um, what's, you know, where are they getting their black backlinks from? So if you, let's just say you want to reach out to some of these and see if they, link back to your own website, but it'll give you all the information of a website when it comes to uh, backlinks, how many they have, how many referring domains, active backlinks. Uh, like I said, this is a big website. They have 3.5 million active backlinks, but you can go into other. And if you're actually looking for site profile, you can, you can put information of, a, of an actual uh, domain. You can get all the related websites. If you type in here let's go ahead and do the same chewy.com oops and it'll give you all the information it'll give you the overview it'll give you the backlinks it'll give you the top content where the backlinks are coming from it'll give you top content and then it'll also give the competition so you can get an idea of what the competition is. So like I said, this word, this tool is not only a keyword finder, it has all that other tool. Um, some of the tools out there that kind of do the same thing are much more expensive. Uh, this tool right here, like I said, I've used for several years. It's where I get all my keywords. Um, so if you're actually interested, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. If this tool's for you and it makes sense for you and your business, go ahead and sign up. If not, you can also just try the 10, 10 day free trial. Um, give it a try, see if it works for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy this content, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any questions or you just wanna leave a comment, help the channel out, leave a comment and do me a favor. I'll see you in the next video.